Well, hi, this is your devotional for February 17th, and we're looking at Proverbs chapter 7. This chapter, Proverbs chapter 5, 6, and 7 all touch on the topic of temptation. And here the picture is particularly of sexual temptation, but I want to go broader to, to temptation in general. I want you to think about uh, kind of where you struggle with temptation, whatever it is in your life. Uh, when, you, when we read Matthew chapter 4 and Luke chapter 4, we find Jesus being tempted by the enemy, tempted by Satan. If Jesus, who was God in human flesh, dealt with temptation, I mean, he didn't give in to it, but the enemy tempted him, you better believe there's never going to be a point in your whole life, until you see Jesus face to face, that temptation won't be an issue. The enemy is always throwing lures and enticements out there at us. And so I want you to listen to these words uh, where the writer of Proverbs is, is sort of telling a story about this young man who's just making some poor choices and walking towards temptation. I'll read the beginning of the passage and then the end when we see the results of him falling into this temptation. So he's talking about sexual temptation, and here's what we read in Proverbs chapter 7, beginning in verse 6. At the window of my house, I looked down through the lattice. I saw among the simple, I noticed among the young men, a youth who had no sense. He was going down the street near her corner, walking along in the direction of her house at twilight as the day was fading as the dark of night set in then out come a, came a woman to meet him dressed like a prostitute and with crafty intent we find out as the passage goes on that she's not a prostitute she's a married woman who's dressed that way out looking for a good time now i want to notice three things in this passage about temptation and three things that, that this that this guy in the story does that are, are dangerous and that we all need to be careful of. So here they are. Number one, he was in the, had the, in the wrong company. He says, I looked among the young, among the simple, and he was hanging around with this group that weren't thinking wisely. When we're around unwise people, we got to be careful because it can rub off on us. When we're around people that say, that's fine, no big deal, but it's wrong, that can entice us. So who are you hanging out with? And then it's, he's in the wrong place. He's going down the street corner near her house where she is. He kind of knows where he's going. He's wandering into a place that's not a good place to go. Second warning for us, watch where we go. There are certain temptations that are easier to fall into when we're in the wrong place with the wrong people. And then it takes one more step, the wrong time. It says in the evening, as things are getting dark, it's just kind of the wrong time to be in that part of town where she was. So, so, so we see all of a sudden he's hanging around the wrong, wrong people, he's going to the wrong places, and he's there at the wrong time. You know what you call that? A recipe for disaster. So think about the area where you deal with temptation. Who are the people you're around? Do they encourage you to walk away from that or toward it? What are the, what are the wrong times to be there? What are the wrong places to go? Be wise and avoid those things that would propel you toward temptation. At, at, after it goes through this whole story, and you can read this all in Proverbs chapter 7, it ends with this incredible warning, painful. And, and we know in the ancient world, if you want to make a point, you said things three times. Well, really, the writer of Proverbs says the same thing three times in a row with three different animals as examples. So here's what we read. All at once he followed her. This guy follows this married woman into temptation. All at once he followed her. Like an ox going to the slaughter, like a deer stepping into a noose till an arrow pierces his liver, like a bird darting into a snare, little knowing it will cost him his life. Like an ox, like a deer, like a bird. He's caught. He's in the snare. He's in the trap. The arrow goes into his body. It costs something. I don't know what temptation you're dealing with in your life, but I know this. You're dealing with some kind of temptation, and so am I all the time. Because the very enemy who tempted Jesus will not fail to try to tempt us. So we need to watch who we're hanging around. Watch where we're going. Watch when we're going there. And be wise. I want to pray for you that God will give you strength to walk in wisdom and walk away from temptation. Lord, that's my prayer. For each person listening, that's my prayer for myself, for my wife, for my children, for my grandchildren. For Shoreline Church. Lord, there's a very real enemy who's very crafty and wants to cause us to stumble. Give us the wisdom to be influenced by the right people, to be aware of where we go and when we go there and the attitude we carry in our hearts so that we might follow your ways and honor you, Jesus, in all we do. We pray this in your name and for your glory. Amen.
Well, I want to invite you to register for worship if you're going to join us online, uh, or you're going to, I'm sorry, if you're going to join us on campus. If you're online, no need to register, but be sure to join us at 9 or 11 this Sunday morning. We'll be on campus at 9 and 11 if the weather permits. It looks like, looks like it's going to be a great weekend. And so God bless you. Have a great week, and we will see you Sunday in worship.